Hey everybody, um, this is a video tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to play Competitive Streak by Joey Dosick. Um, I kind of figured it out by ear, so I figured I would share it. If you guys see any wrong chords that I'm playing, um, just go ahead and put it in the comments for me. All right, so this is the beginning. It goes like this. So that's uh, what it is, is B flat major to F over A to G minor. That's the simplest way to play it. But you know, it's you can also add the nine and the sevens in there to kind of open it up and make it. You play it in different inversions. It plays in a couple different ways, I think. So. Couldn't possibly blame me more than I blame myself. All right, so it kind of keeps going down in that motion. So it goes from B to A to G in the bass line, and then it keeps going to F to E to D in the bass line. And what's happening in the right hand is from the beginning. Couldn't possibly blame me. There's that same motif at the beginning, and then it goes and transposes down into F. More than a C over E, blame myself, D minor, or D minor 7. So from the beginning, couldn't possibly blame me, more than I blame myself. I don't know that, I kind of messed it up there, but that's, it goes, more than I blame myself, half step down to D flat major 7. That's D major seven, C minor seven, B flat minor seven. That's F again, C over E to D. So as you can see, it's the beginning verse is kind of like this downward continuing kind of thing. Back to B flat. I could have kept my mouth shut. F. I could have been grown up. D flat major seven. Surprised to see you would cut your hair. And then back to B flat. And I really lost all of my composure out there. What that is, so it's all the same except for the last chord before it goes back home. And I really lost all of my composure out there. Now you can think of this as like a C sus. 7 with a flat 9, or you can think of it as just a B flat over C, B flat minor over C. And I really lost all of my composure out there. So my competitive streak runs deep. Uh, that's it, kind of goes up to the major 7 of that, so it stays on F, but then it does this thing. Uh, basically climbing up from the 5 of F to the 6 to the major 7. It turns to, from an F to an F major 7. My companion streak runs deep. 32, 33, baby, magic and Kareem. Or, I'm sorry, magic and Kareem. Pretty sure it's that. All right, I'm, but I'm getting ahead of myself, so... Uh, Really lost all of my composure out there. Cause my competitive streak runs deep. Now I think what happens here is like a passing chord to the F downward thing. So my competitive streak runs deep. 32, 33, baby, magic and Kareem. All right. If you notice that 32, 33, baby. Magic and Kareem is only the it's it's not only it's kind of the same thing as the beginning. 32, 33, baby. But instead of that G minor seven, it's a G7. Magic and Kareem. That's this 
that's a C9, I think that is. It could also be a C sus. But I gotta be decisive, right? So let's just say C9. 32, 33, baby, magic, and Kareem, it does one kind of passing chord in between. So you can think of it as like approaching it from a half step above. So you can think of it as like a, like a B sharp 11. 32, 33, baby. So I think what happens is, Second verse, same as the first, right? So, I'm sorry, I don't know all the lyrics. Maybe the past is all behind me. Maybe winning and losing blinds me. Lose the only thing you had left. Remember that B flat minor over C. Same chorus, my competitive streak runs deep. 32, 33, baby, magic and Kareem. I shouldn't have made a scene. But it's not easy seeing you playing for another team. No, no, no. That's a chromatic approach from, from the F. It goes down to an E, and then it goes da 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 So if you, if you think of it in left hand only, it's not easy seeing you playing for another team, no, no. I want to run away from myself if I have to lose to you. Now remember this kind of thing, because it happens again at the end a few times. And all you have to do on the right hand is take the third. So the third of F is A. And then the third of E is G sharp. So it goes, it's not easy seeing you playing for another team. No, no, no. So it's third, 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 third of every chord. Um, what's the point of winning for myself if I have to lose to you? All right, one last time. It's not easy seeing you playing for another team, no, no. And what's the point of winning for myself if I had to lose to you? Alright, now the bridge. B flat major 7. Now this is, you could think of it as like B flat minor 7 over E flat. But it's really like an E flat sus. Kind of a sus chord because it has that. So back to B flat. Bass climbs up to E flat. Part of the recording doesn't seem to do much with the movement, but I know the bass goes up. Now, it goes from here to here. 
here, back to come back to home. How does he get there? He goes from sus to weak. He gets from here back to here. My competitive streak runs deep. But how does he do it? Well, he just kind of goes in a straight line. He goes from the sus chord, and then he resolves it to the E flat, straight E flat chord major. Then he just goes up a half step to E, and then back up to half step to F. And now all of a sudden you're there, so. And how we I think that's all of the parts of the song. Did I get everything? Yeah, and then at the very end... It's not easy seeing you playing for another team. No, no, again. Whoops. Oh, sorry. 